The aim of Big Bang London really is to get kids excited by science, technology, engineering and maths. So we've got exhibitors sort of across four floors of the building, ranging from IBM, GlaxoSmithKline, but also universities and Institute of Physics. And it's really quick hit excitement is what we're about today. So the kids come in, there's loads of hands-on activities, so they get to rush around the building, get a real buzz for it. What we've also got is some more sort of detailed sessions where we've got say speed networking with volunteers from STEM industries to talk about their jobs to so try and give kids the, the idea of the excitement but also the idea of where STEM might lead them in terms of careers. That's really the point. Well you wouldn't really think of coming but as soon as you get in here it's amazing. I want to be an engineer. It inspires you to get get your grades and like what you want to achieve in life. The fact you learn a lot of stuff, it's really fun. Yeah, you get to like do it hands on. These types of events I think are critical in allowing them to share their ideas and, and present their ideas. I think the more students get involved in sharing and presenting, it's better for them and it's better for other students as well. And I think they enjoy talking to one each other, uh, one another on their uh, at their own levels. Designed. Here it is. Um, the Nelly float and it sits under the float ball in a cistern and it disperses the water quicker than it usually would so it creates more buoyancy of the float ball. It raises the valve quicker which means the inlet valve shuts off quicker so less water in the system. But it's so fun, you're always laughing you're, and we're going, up, we're going to loads of big bangs and you're always doing something and there are people who are always enthusiastic about it. Obviously they're overwhelmed with so much information today. I think it'd be great for them they're just kind of taking it all in and see so many different things. But maybe when they go back to class it'll kind of sink in and they might go, oh I heard about that then or and that kind of thing. And maybe it'll kind of, yeah, just kind of sowing the seeds for them to think about. And hopefully when they get to make decision making times they'll have the tools and have enough knowledge just to think, just to see what is out there. I did a degree at UCL uh, in, in London in civil engineering. So um, my, it was always my dream to kind of build stadiums as well as running them. Yes, I think the buzz here is just amazing. So much energy, so much enthusiasm. It's really great actually and we, we need more of this kind of activity I think in the future. It's nice to be able to um, sort of do things like this because yes you need to know the theory but really you also need to be able to use the theory if you actually want to go on and do anything. Well, when we see the Big Bang nationally, we get lots and lots of people. We get 56,000 people coming along to the NEC, maybe more next year with any luck. Um, but we know that not everyone can make it. The, the whole reason for doing the more local Big Bangs is that within an hour's journey, it's very easy for a school party to get along to somewhere like this as our event in London. And so we get another couple of thousand people attending each one of, of these. <laughs>